Namaste and welcome to Live, Love, Engage. I am your host, Gloria Grace Rand. And today, in today's episode, I am going to be talking about forgiveness and self-acceptance and why both of these concepts are important. And not only not only important in a general sense, but important to you fulfilling your life's purpose for you to be able to live fully, love deeply, and engage authentically, which is the reason for this whole show. <laughs> so I thought what I would start off today doing is sharing with you uh, the daily word. And I am recording this actually on... Um, uh, this is actually July 7th, so today's daily word was forgive. And the affirmation was forgiveness sets me free. So I'm going to read to you a little bit of this first off. And oh, for those of you who aren't familiar, the daily word is a uh, magazine that is put out by Unity. Um, and I've been a subscriber for, oh, geez, probably almost two years, I think now. <laughs> And they have really great messages every day. So let me share with you what it says today about this concept about forgiveness. It says, holding on to a hurt can intensify my pain and keep me stuck in unpleasant memories. Grudges, resentments, and negative emotions keep me tethered to the very experiences I wish to move beyond. When I don't forgive, I can't move forward which stunts my spiritual and emotional growth. Deciding to pardon hurtful behavior heals me from within. If I struggle to offer heartfelt forgiveness, I can still pray for peace for myself and another. As I work toward being able to forgive, I know the unconditional love of God is for everyone. This knowledge moves me into a new dimension of love and peace. I'm ready to begin again, to go forth, renewed and filled with freedom and joy. Forgiveness has washed me clean. And then they always end the daily word with a reading. And this one is from, uh, from, from the New Testament, all well, from the Bible, but this one's from the New Testament from uh, uh, the Gospel of Mark. Uh, it's uh, 11.25. Whenever you stand praying, forgive if you have anything against anyone. So I know that it's, it's important to forgive others. I mean, a lot of people will say that it's important to forgive others. And, and yes, it definitely is. And sometimes it's a lot easier for us to forgive other people than it is to forgive ourselves. Or at least that's my case. <laughs> it's been my case. But I know in talking with other people and in talking with clients, as well, some of my coaching clients, that, that is a recurring theme that comes up. Because we are often so much harder on ourselves than anyone else. You know, we can, we can let other people slide with stuff that we stew about. So forgiveness starts with actually accepting ourselves. And that's where that self-acceptance comes back to. And it's about accepting that we are humans. We're, now we're spiritual beings, but we, are, we have a human body. And as such, we have free will. And we are going to make mistakes. <laughs> there's, there's a great Billy Joel song that says, I'm only human, or, or no, you're only human. You're supposed to make mistakes. I know I'm not singing it well at all. Today, I forgot the tune even <laughs> as I was going through it. I've got it in my head, but, but that's it. You are supposed to make mistakes because that's how you learn. You, we have to learn from our mistakes. And, and I have been, I've absolutely been guilty about this because, and I just had this awareness actually re recently because I, I realized where I'd been sort of going through a dilemma because as I've been becoming more spiritually aware and more and grown closer to God and knowing that I am part of God, I was bumping up against a, a sort of conundrum because you've 
depending, I don't know what your spiritual beliefs are, but generally you've probably heard or, or may even believe yourself that God is all powerful, all knowing, God is perfect. Okay, so God is perfect. And then I believe that we were created in God's image, that we are children of God, which means we are part of God. So if God is perfect, but we make mistakes, then that means we're not perfect, so that means we're not God? See, that's, that was my dilemma until I remembered. <laughs> and this, this, was, this came to me while I was actually walking my dogs recently. Because it dawned on me, I had forgotten the part, and that's what my God source, inner, uh, my higher self, um, re spoke to me and said, remember, <laughs> you are, yes, you are part of God, and you came to this planet to learn. You came here to learn and to grow, and you were given free will to choose. And sometimes the choices we make in retrospect and looking back weren't possibly the best choices for either ourselves or for someone else. It wasn't in their best interest. It was at the time because obviously we would not have chosen to say something or to do something if it didn't feel like it was the right thing to do in that moment. And that's where they say hindsight is 2020. You can always see, see clearly afterwards. And then that's where we get into this beating ourselves up, or we can, when we realize that, oh, shoot, I shouldn't have said that. Or, oh, shoot, I wish I hadn't have done that. It, it hurt myself or it hurt somebody else. And that's when we have the opportunity to say, okay, yeah, I screwed up. <laughs> What can I learn from this? How can I do, do things differently the next time? So that's where you have to practice not only forgiveness, but also self-acceptance and accept that, yeah, you, you're not perfect. Well, no, scratch that. Yes, you are perfect right now in this moment. You are perfect and the things you do or say may not always be perfect because that's the human part of you. So our inner self, our spirit is perfect because we are part of God. But that human part of us, the human mind, the ego that sometimes trips us up, that's where, that's what trips us up <laughs> because it's always looking for uh, either to keep you safe or just wants to, wants some sort of easy, uh, quick gratification. <laughs> and it doesn't always think things through long term and to see what are going to be the ramifications of a particular action you take or a particular thing you say. So one of the things that I've started to do, and I'm every morning I ask uh, the Holy Spirit and God to say, I, I say, please give me, <laughs> I intend today to think before I speak, <laughs> to think, to stop and think and choose what it is I want to do, what is it I want to say, and give myself that opportunity to really get clear on, is what I'm about to do or say really in the best interest of me? and or the people I love or, or that are in my circle that I, I want to uh, interact with today. And when I can do that, when I stop and pause and think, hmm, then I can choose. And you know what? Sometimes I'm still going to make the wrong choice or what turned out to be possibly the wrong choice because it had maybe unintended consequences and it actually did hurt me or someone else even though I didn't think it would. But that's the other thing is that we are always doing the best we can 
with the knowledge that we have up until this moment in time. And sometimes it's going to work out and sometimes it's not. But it doesn't change who you are at the core. Because I believe that you, we are all inherently good people because we are spiritual beings. We are of God, by God, for God, th living through God. And that's who we are. That's who we will always be once this body ceases to exist and our spirit is free, our soul is free. We will still be that infinite, inherently good being, spiritual being. But right now, while we're here, we have human frailties and we are going to inevitably make mistakes because we're only human and that's okay. So my advice today is for you to be okay with being okay. <laughs> Actually, I have a coach right now who is telling me that and she's a very wise woman. So be okay with that. And if you are struggling with it, then I invite you to talk to someone about it. Um, seek out a coach. Uh, uh, a, if you belong to a church, you know, talk to someone at your church. Or you can contact me. And I would be happy to help you out. Because it's much easier for me to help other people than for me to help myself. That's why I go see a coach. <laughs> That's always the way it is. But I know that I have learned enough now that I'm sure I could help you. And if not, I will refer you to someone else. So if you would like to get in touch with me, you can go to engagewithgloria.com. That's engagewithgloria.com. And you can um, schedule an appointment to talk. And uh, it's no obligation, and we'll just see. We'll see if I can help you out. I would love to be able to do that. And I would also like to invite you to let me know if you have any suggestions uh, for topics for our podcast. Uh, you can reach me on social media. I'm at Gloria Grace Rand on Facebook, on uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, <laughs> you can find me there. Uh, or you can simply just go to my GloriaRand.com website and you can contact me through there as well. Um, in fact, as soon as you get to the homepage, there's a little, uh, little window will pop up and where you can actually request to uh, just leave me a comment. All right, I think that's gonna do it for this edition of Live, Love, Engage. So I thank you for watching on YouTube, for listening. And until next time, as always, I encourage you to live fully, love deeply, and engage authentically. <laughs>